from Sado Kaikon just beating the crap out of <laughs> some old man in, in kickboxing with small gloves. Yeah, sure. Yeah, we can we can end on a, on a light <laughs> note. So there have been a lot of uh, in K one and Rise and all these sort of Japanese kickboxing organizations. They desperately lack quality heavyweights. Um, most of the heavyweights that fight in those organizations are just welterweights or middleweights that really like to eat. I don't know how else to put it. Like they're quite overweight. Um, and so they've been desperate for, for talent and they seem to have been reaching into the, um, you know, karate world to get that talent lately. They picked up, uh, Renosuke, uh, Hoshi from IKO. K1 got, they got Ren Ito now from Sado Kaiken. Uh, they got Kenta Nanbara from IKO. So they, they've sort of picked up a bunch of heavyweights and they've, they got, um, uh, Yamaguchi from Byakuren Kaiken. And they've all just been mauling over. Um, the worst one I saw lately, like you were alluding to, is Ren Ito fought at uh, AJKN, I think it's called. He <laughs> Ito was just... He did that, like... You could see that he comes from, like, a full contact or from a knockdown style because he did that, like, those sort of chain punches where they, like, almost put... They punch you, but they push off your chest to punch you again. He was doing it to that, to that guy and it, no response, just rope to rope to rope to rope, like end to end of the ring, just <laughs> mauling this man. It was just, I mean, I loved it because it was so showed the power of, of knockdown karate, but in, in a kickboxing, small glove Muay Thai, world um kickboxing which historically it has right like Dato Kaikon created k1 ishii created k1 so yeah. it, it, it's actually pretty cool to see how that that continuing it's all coming full circle yeah yeah 